Hello everyone, it's Matt M. I make clinical laboratory science content videos every single week and if you are interested in that type of video, consider subscribing to my channel, ring that bell to get notified, and yeah, let's get started. Disclaimer, if you hear a lot of, I don't know if you can hear that, it's because of this jacket. I don't know why I ended up choosing this jacket, but I think it looks cute. Comment down below <laughs> if you think it's cute. First of all, I would like to thank my good friend Brian. He created that insane logo that you just saw in my intro. He actually gave me a bunch of logo ideas. I wanted something very minimal that will scream laboratory, but will also scream me. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? It's very me. It says me on the logo. I don't want to be that guy who explains this joke. Comment down below if you think that it looks good. And we also did a photo shoot. You can see the photo shoot on my Instagram. If you are in the lookout for a graphic designer or a photographer, he's the man for the job. Check out his art page. I will link it down below. If you have read the title of this video already, you know that we're going to be tackling books and reviewers for the Philippines medical technology licensure examination in this video I'm gonna go all in because I know some of you guys want to top the board exam some of you guys want to pass the board exam that's why you're watching this video I will recommend books that was recommended by a review center for each subject for the board exam just a little disclaimer just because I'm recommending this book doesn't mean that you have to buy every single book that I will recommend because some books will fit into your study style but some books will not but these are the books that was recommended to us I mean the teachers in the board exam are mostly top-notchers if not they're teachers from a different school so they know what they're talking about. I will tell you which books I did study and which books I skipped and if you who is watching this have some more book recommendations or reviewer recommendation for the future registered medical technologists feel free to comment down below. I read all the comments and I try as much as possible to reply to every single one of them so that we can be a family of medical technologists here. Anyways, let's get started. So why did I enroll in the review center? First of all, it will help you relearn the things that you may have forgotten already and it will actually help you learn some new information that you have overlooked the first time that you studied for the board exam. I reviewed with Lemar Review Hub on November, December of 2018 and then I reviewed with Pioneer Educational Review on January, February 2019. So so March 2019 comes, I had gone through two review centers. Story behind that is because I had a discount on the first review center and I also had a discount on the second review center. I had no confidence in taking the board exam because major exams like this gives me so much anxiety that I needed to study at two review centers. But to be honest, if I'm gonna redo it again, I'm gonna stick with one review center. So I could have had some time to just study on my own. Comment down below what your review center was so the future RMTs will have some more review centers to choose from. So with that being said, we will start with overview books. So the first book that I consider as an overview book because it's not a subject specific book is Henry's Clinical Diagnosis and Management by laboratory methods. So some people say that this is the Bible of medical technology. So it would be a good book to open if you want a book that will tackle all the fields within medical technology. And then the second book that I consider an overview book is Widman's Clinical Interpretation of Laboratory Tests. I personally did not study either one of those books, but the review center recommended it to us. So I am just passing a piece of information to you. So the way I organized this video would be according to the subjects that, that I took that you will be taking. <laughs> I know that the first exam is clinical chemistry and to be honest the only thing I studied for clinical chemistry is a book I guess or a summary of books a compilation of all the books clinical chemistry 
review handbook for medical technologies by Ma'am Rodriguez. I met her in person. She taught multiple classes in Pioneer Educational Review Center and she taught some classes in Lima Review Hub. This one is not in Amazon. It's by a local author in the Philippines. And I like this handbook because it's easy to study, bite-sized, bullet information, something you will need for the board exam. Okay? children <laughs> but if you are a book person then do not skip this part because i'll be recommending three books for clinical chemistry first book would be clinical chemistry principles correlations and techniques by um, bishop quick side note i have the bishop book for clinical chemistry and it was previously owned by one of the board top notchers in march 2013 my brother who is also a medical technologist was studying for the board exam and he felt the need that he wanted the clinical chemistry book my brother purchased the book it's from gladys katibog i guess if you think about it this book is already third hand because it was from gladys katibog first owner and then my brother and then me <laughs> so most of the books that i use for the board exam are hand-me-downs from my brother and i don't find anything wrong with that i love studying secondhand books second book would be clinical chemistry a fundamental textbook by cal breath the third book would be clinical chemistry by rabor this the third book is by a local author i'm not sure where to purchase it but if you found one or if you're using one then this is also a good book for you to study. These four books are very helpful if you want to study a reference book for clinical chemistry. On to the next subject on day one, it's microbiology and parasitology. So I studied in AUP, Adventist University of the Philippines, and in AUP we have modules that is authored by our professors. I studied the book Microbiology by Ferdinand E. Mendoza and I use this book because it's the one I already have and I am already familiar with the layout of the book. It is easy to understand and I am pretty sure this is not very easily accessible for all the students within the Philippines who is planning to take the board exam but I will not leave you hanging because our microbiology module is actually based on Daly and Scotts and Mahon together it turned out into this microbiology module by Ferdinand E. Mendoza and for parasitology the book that was recommended to us in the review center is the Philippine textbook on medical parasitology by Dr. Belisario. Fun story it's that Dr. Belisario actually taught a parasitology class to us in Lemar Review Hub so I also had the chance to meet him and he actually signed my parasitology book. He's super kind his stories are very inspiring that's besides the point. The good thing about this book is that it focuses on the parasites that is commonly found in the Philippines. It's very easy to understand. It has pictures so <laughs> that's a good thing. I will recommend four other books that you might consider studying for the board exam. So the first book would be Bailey and Scott's Diagnostic Microbiology and then the second book would be Microbiology Textbook by Mayhon and then the third book would be Medical Microbiology by Jowitz and then the fourth book would be an introduction to diagnostic microbiology by the lost these are four books that is very helpful for you to study if you feel like you need to study a textbook for microbiology because studying for the board exam it pretty much feels like you are being your own coach so you might not know all the information regarding clinical chemistry microbiology any other subject but you will coach yourself you will gauge how much you know on a certain subject and if if you feel like you don't know much about a certain subject so that's the time you have to start cracking open a book so let's move on to the third exam for day one and that is urinalysis and other body fluid I studied the book by Susan Strassinger the urinalysis and other body fluids I did not actually read the book while I was studying for the board exam I spent most of the time studying the lecture notes that was given to us but during my third year that was the time I took your analysis and other body fluids and the Susan Strassinger book is very easy to understand. It had pictures. It might sound like I only study books with pictures but it's really helpful if a book has pictures. <laughs> Second book would be Graf's book on your analysis and then the third one would be Brunzel's book on your analysis and other body fluids. These three are good books that you can buy or you can borrow because buying a book doesn't 
doesn't necessarily entail that it has to be new because sometimes the best books are the books that you get secondhand. Because for me, if the book already has highlights, it makes me want to study more because it was already read and it seemed like an important information to the previous owner. So I would think that it's also important information and then I would re-highlight it by, let's say, if it was already highlighted with, say, a yellow Sharpie, then I can highlight it with a red pen or I, ha I can highlight it with a blue pen. Like I said earlier, I studied books but not all of these books. I'm trying to be as completely transparent with you guys as much as possible on the books that I read and I did not read. So let's move on to day two for the board exam. First subject in day two is hematology. Let me tell you right off the bat that <laughs> I did not study any book for hematology. I, I remember having awesome professors in Lamar Review Hub and Pioneer Educational Review Center and they explained the notes really well. I did not feel the need to open up any hematology book because the notes that I received from Lamar Review Hub and Pioneer Educational Review Center was very detailed, very concise. All the information that I think I should know is already on there and I think that's awesome. That's how notes should be. I don't want to leave you hanging. I will still tell you the books that were recommended to us. First book is the Hematology book by Rhoda. The second book is Hematology by Staininger. And then the third book that was recommended was Hematology by Barbara Brown. I'm sorry in advance if I'm butchering these last names because I'm pretty sure I am. For the second exam in day two, it's Immunology and Serology and Blood Banking. So for Immunology and Serology, I felt like the notes that was given to us in the review center was already enough and I felt that I don't have to open up a book and study. But for Blood Banking, I did open up a book. I read Blood Banking by Denise Harmoning. It's a really good book. It has pictures. <laughs> I read this book because I'm already familiar with the layout of the book because this book is the book that we used when I was still in third year. My diffuser just died. Wait now. We'll diffuse some lemon and some peppermint. I don't read recipes online, which I probably should. I just mix the oils that I feel like I want to smell on that day. And if you have some good blends that you want to recommend to me, comment down below. <laughs> so Denise Harmoning's book on blood banking, immunology book by Stevens, and then immunology book by Stanley, and the immunology book by Earl. Ah, I forgot. The immunology book by Turgeon. Yeah, got it. <laughs> the last exam for the board exam that is the third exam on the second day. Histopathologic techniques, med tech laws and bioethics, and laboratory management. For this exam, uh, there's not much to study for because the books are really hard to find. <laughs> so I didn't actually study any book. I just used the notes that was given to us in the review center. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the review center actually recommended two books. For Histopath, they recommended the book by Gregorios. And then for Medtech Laws, they recommended the Medtech Laws and Ethics by Rabor. But if you're looking for concise information, notes, bullet points, things you need to memorize because that's pretty much Histopath and Medtech Laws, a lot of memorizing, I recommend reading the notes from the Review Center. They help me out a lot. I wouldn't say that the Histopath and Medtech Laws part of the exam was easy, but these books would really help you. I know this would just entail 10% of your overall grade but 10% is still 10% if you mess up on the 10% then that would still drag your overall grade down so as much as possible try equalizing your time reading most of the books and most of the review notes that will be given by the review center so we're on to the review books the review books that I call are Q&A books they will enhance your test taking skills. They are books that tackle majority of the questions that will come out of the exam. So there would be some parts regarding chemistry, microbiology, and all the exams that we will be taking for the Philippine board exam. So without further ado, the first book that I will recommend is the Clinical Laboratory Science Review, A Bottom Line Approach by Patsy Giroux. This is a really good book because if you know me, I am a person who studied through mnemonics it's nice to have this book that already thinks of the mnemonics for you <laughs> because 
it will help you memorize the information a lot faster if you have a code or if you have an outrageous story that will provoke a memory and will make you remember everything all at once all of a sudden. <laughs> this is also a good book to study because it has a lot of pictures. <laughs> For the second book, it's Medical Laboratory Science Review by Robert Har. I actually finished this book. I read it cover to cover. It has questions on one side and then the answer on the other side. And then the answer is not just a list of answers. It explains the reason why, let's say, letter A is the right answer. Another recommendation for the review book is Success in Clinical Laboratory Science by Anna Shula. It's like an all-around book. It has the notes, it has the questions, it has the answers, it has the rationales. I actually read majority of this book, but I focus mainly on the question and answer part of this book. The next book is for my flashcard people. One of the good flashcards that you can use to study is the Polanski review cards. I personally am not a fan of review cards, but if you are a fan of review cards and you feel like you can process information more if you study them through review cards then this set of review cards is the best one for you. So you can also study the peer review manual. I don't know what's in this book but they keep repeating this on my review class. It has some good juju inside of it. If you have time to read this then you certainly can. Another review book is Alba's Medical Technology Board Exam Review. I actually do own this book but sadly while I was reviewing for the board exam I didn't have the time to open it. It sounds like Albus, like <laughs> Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> Anyways, Albus. So this book, like if you open it, it doesn't look appealing to read because it's black and white. But the good thing about this, it has questions. Honestly, all I can think of right now is that it's such a waste of me having the book and not studying it. Another review book that is the a Concise Review on Clinical Laboratory Science, I think, by Hubbard. I personally did not read it because to be honest, the review center recommended so many books and I'm pretty sure this video would be such a pain to edit because there are so many books. Finally, the last book that I will recommend, Apollon. Most of the review centers don't recommend studying this anymore. I'm just putting this book out there. So many books that I talk about and most of the books that I talk about, I barely grazed or I barely read. I skim some of them but sometimes you have to cram that much information in a certain amount of time and you cannot read everything. But if you, the person who's watching this video, have the time to read most of this, then good for you because chances are you passed the board exam. <laughs> if you're still watching this video, then thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of this type of content, then consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it would really help my channel grow. Comment down below if you have some more video content ideas that you would like me to do and don't forget to wash your hands and I will see you on the next one. Bye!